So here's the map demo class. And like all of the data structures we're studying, the map interface is a generic. Um, but it's different than all the other generics we've used and learned about so far in Java. This is a generic that takes two types as parameters. So the first type is the type of the key. And the second type is the type of the value. And those often are completely different types. So let's create a map where the keys are strings and the values are colors. And this is gonna be a map of our favorite colors. And we'll make a new hash map. Because we want it to be really fast. So the first parameter is the type of the key. The second parameter is the type of the value. All right, so let's um, figure out some favorite colors. So we're gonna use the put method. Connor, what's your favorite color? Color dot blue. So we're going to add an association to our map where the key is Connor and the value is the color blue, okay? Uh, let's do some more. Angela, what's your favorite color? Sorry, what do you say? Pink. Is that a type? It is. Excellent. Cool. Different color. Uh, let's do another one. Ron, what's your favorite color? Perfect. Good. I need an example like that. So let's add a comment above this, just reminding ourselves that two different keys can have the same value. So it's okay that Connor and Rohan have the same paper color. Our map can support that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because we're storing references to these objects. We're not like cloning them or anything. Yeah, it's immutable, right? Um, all right, Angelo, let's, let's change your favorite color. What's your, what's your new favorite color? Yellow, excellent. Because <laughs> we need an example of that too. All right, so we're gonna say here, but the same key cannot have two different values. This code changes the value for the key, Angela. So that's the, that's the put method. Um, let's say we, we want to actually iterate through all of the favorite colors here. This is where we will create a set of the keys in a map. And this is where we use that key set method. So we're gonna create a set of strings and I'm gonna call that keys. I almost always call this variable keys because that's what it is. It's the keys for the map. Um, and then we're gonna call on our favorite colors variable, we're gonna call the key set method. And that will return a reference to the set of the keys in the map. And then we use an enhanced for loop. 
So for string key, for every key in keys, that reads nice. We're using plural so we don't get confused. I'm just gonna print out both the key and the corresponding value. So system.out.println. So I'm gonna print the key and then I'm gonna concatenate that with in parentheses, I'm gonna print out, cause this is interesting, the keys hash code. We'll see what that is in a moment. And then I'm gonna close my parentheses and then I'll concatenate um, favorite colors dot, now we'll call the get method. The get method, we just passed the key, it returns a reference to the value. I messed something up here. Oh, this is concatenation. We are not in Python. All right, so the key concatenated with an open parenthesis, concatenated with the key's hash code, concatenated with a close parenthesis and a colon, concatenated with the value returned by calling get on the map and specifying the key. That should do it. I'm gonna run this so we can look at this together. So you'll see here are the three keys in our map. This number next to them is their hash code. And then here are the values, which are the corresponding favorite colors. Um, I wanted to print out the hash codes just to illustrate to you that um, they are dramatically different numbers. Um, and in fact, even if, ooh, let's, this could be interesting. Let's say, Let's say I just change a name by a single letter, by just one next letter. We'll change the favorite color. We'll run this. These two keys, you can see how, where you can start to get some inferences into like maybe how, where this hash code comes from, right? So same number of letters, same letters, except for an N instead of an M. And we can see that the hash code is just differs by, by one. Right, so you can see, you can start to infer like the actual letters in some way are turned into a single integer value that represents it. Um, and we want a good hashing method so that we, we don't end up with multiple keys with the same hash code because that will slow down our hash map. Um, we're not gonna study all that much, but I'm gonna once again plug the fact that um, these extension resources are really good. Um, how, how do these hash tables work? How does hashing work? Um, how are these hash maps so crazy fast, right? Putting something in a hash map is order one. Looking up something in a hash map is order one. Even if you have a million elements in there, that's really cool. So. All right. Um, Questions about hash maps?